Hello. In this video, I show you how to configure and enable the Direct Connect feature in Nikivo Backup and Replication. Direct Connect allows secure access to remote resources via a single port connection without the need for a VPN. This feature is especially useful for large enterprises and MSPs who want to provide services to remote clients without needing a persistent VPN connection. To start using Direct Connect, you need to install a transporter at the remote environment and set the master password for it. Alternatively, you can deploy the transporter-only VMware vSphere virtual appliance directly to the remote environment. Remember to restart the transporter service after generating the password to apply the change. Once you've done that, expose the transporter port on the local machine to be externally available via the internet. For more details on transporter installation, follow the tutorial link in the description. Once you've installed a remote transporter, you need to add it to Nikivo Backup and Replication. To do so, head over to Settings and switch to the Nodes tab. Click the plus icon in the top right corner, select Add Existing Node, then click Installed Service. Enter the host name or IP address of the machine on which you installed the transporter. Make sure to provide the machine's public IP address. You must also ensure that all requests from the TCP port, which you expose to the internet when setting up the transporter, are forwarded to this machine. Next, enter the master password you created when installing the transporter. Click Connect and accept the certificate. Now, click More Options. Enter a suitable name for the transporter in the Node Name field. Check the Enable Direct Connect for this node option, then click Add. The remote transporter is now added and ready to be used for Direct Connect. To demonstrate the feature, I will add to the inventory a machine that resides in the same remote location as this transporter. The machine I'm adding is a physical machine running Linux, so I select Physical in the Type step and click Next. In the Options step, provide a suitable name for the machine and specify its operating system. You also need to provide the host name or IP address, in addition to the required credentials. Here's the important part. Check the Use Direct Connect option and select the remote transporter you added earlier from the Assigned Transporter drop-down list. Click Finish. The machine is now being added to the inventory via the remote transporter. The machine has been added successfully. You may notice that the machine displays a local IP address. But if I switch to the Nodes tab, you can see that the transporter has a public IP address, and it's acting as a gateway to the machine over the internet. Next, I'll create a new backup repository to store backup data produced at the remote site. To do so, switch to the Repositories tab and click the plus icon, then select Create New Backup Repository. Select the repository type. You can deploy the repository directly to a locally mounted share attached to the remote transporter by selecting Local Folder. This is especially useful if you've deployed a NAS device as a node and want to use it for backup storage. Click Next. After entering a name for the repository, assign the remote transporter to it and enter the required details specific to the repository type that you selected. Click Next. Finally, adjust additional repository options and click Finish. Now that you have a backup repository and a remote transporter with Direct Connect enabled, you're ready to start running backup jobs via Direct Connect. And that concludes our how to video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to catch new uploads. You can also download a free trial version of Nikivo Backup and Replication using the link in the description and try the solution in your own environment for 15 days.